What should the people do? Subscribe to Jeremy! Can you do it in a voice that doesn't make people want to kill themselves? Subscribe! <laughs> Hey, Forkers, what are we doing today? We're building a burger! Now here's the thing, there are about a million and one veggie burger recipes out there. Uh, and the problem, and everyone says that they're the best one! But the thing is, oh my God. the best burger is one that's suited for your tastes. So we're not going to tell you what to put in your burger. Instead, we're going to give you a, a selection of items. This is what we're putting in our burger that Ephraim pre-selected, and we'll get to that in a second. But we're going to give you the categories of things you need, and then some ideas, but then the idea is that you get to build a burger to your own tastes. That's how you make the perfect veggie burger. Use your tongue, people. Use your tongue. So here's the categories. You need one and a half cup of cooked beans. What could that be? Chickpeas. Yep. Kidney beans. Lentils. Lentils, black beans, mung beans. We're, we're going to use lentils and mung beans today for yep. ours. Next, this is what you need. Now, this is something you don't swap out. You need a half a cup of chopped onion and Where's one that? clove of garlic. You need two cups of diced veggies. Which we have. We're using frozen. Uh, two cups of diced veggies. You don't need to use this. You could use squash. You could use potatoes. You could cut up Whatever some you want. spinach, some kale. Mushrooms, carrots, whatever you want. We're going to use frozen veggies because it's a bit easier today. Three tablespoons of liquid flavor. I chose mustard, ketchup, and balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. There you go. Uh, you could also use like Worcestershire sauce. You could use salsa. You could use hot sauce. You could use barbecue sauce. You could use anything. Any liquid that's going to give you some flavor. Anything that you want. Next, you need four teaspoons of spice. You can do any combination of stuff you want. We're just going to do this Costco uh, organic no salt seasoning. We're just going to do that for all four teaspoons because it gives you a nice blending of flavors already. Yep. But you can use cumin, paprika, cayenne, salt, pepper, uh, turmeric, whatever you want for your flavors. You need one cup of a dry base. So you can use anything for that. What did we use? We used um, cornmeal and oat flour. So we did half and half, and we made our own oat flour because it's easy as hell, right? Yeah, and they charge like a buck extra. Yeah. You just need oats and a blender. It's so easy. Make your own oat flour, don't pay extra. You could also use for this, you could use buckwheat, you could use whole wheat flour. You could use red, yeah. Buckwheat, buckwheat, buckwheat flour. flour. Whatever flour you want to use, you could use in this. We're using a combination of two. And then next, a half cup of texture ingredients, so we chose. Olives. We're going to use olives. And what's the other thing we're going to use? We're going to use... What do we decide on? Oh, yeah. Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts. Oh, yeah, you're going to tip them. There's texture. Brazil nuts are super, super healthy. I think it's a thing called selenium or semelium. I'm getting the word wrong. Wait. But it's something really good in there. So that's our, our whole base. So now how do you put this all together? You're gonna heat two tablespoons of water in a pan that's medium hot. You're gonna fry the onion, your vegetables, and your garlic until it softens up a bit. This should take about five minutes. You're gonna transfer all that into a food processor and pulse with the beans, your liquid flavor, and your spice until that stuff is nice and mixed. but still a little chunky. You're gonna pulse in the dry base and your textured ingredients. Oh shit. <laughs> it's gonna look gooey, but that's totally fine. Now you're ready to make your burger, so you're gonna scoop those out in about a third of a cup measurements. Scoop those babies out. Yeah, make them flat like pancakes. You're gonna bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Take them out, flip them over. These aren't gonna win a beauty contest, but they're gonna win a taste contest. Bake them for another 10 to 15 minutes. Take them out, let them cool just a bit, and then you can put them on any kind of whole grain bun you want, or if you just wanna put them on a bed of lettuce, that's cool too. Top them with whatever you like to put on burgers. And then you're gonna smash that beautiful thing into your mouth. 
Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoy this. Let us know what you made your burger. Post photos and show us your burgers that you made. And don't forget to... Subscribe. We need you. We do need you.